Overpowered characters. If you're an OG anime fan, you probably remember the days on the playground arguing whether or not this brolic beefcake can beat this one. Or if your food looks like this or this instead of this, you were probably arguing how this guy can beat the entire anime universe using mythical zodiac magic. But a character that doesn't get brought up enough that could probably beat your favorite character is the man himself, Accelerator. Accelerator comes from the series A Certain Magical Index. For the purpose of this video, all you need to know about it is that the series features a science side and a magic side that both work as two sides of the same coin. Accelerator is an esper that comes from the science side. So with that being said, you would expect this power to be more straightforward rather than some mumbo jumbo magic talk. Wrong. Accelerator has the power of vector transformation and after hearing those words, you may be asking, what the hell is that? Even though it's pretty much canon that anybody who watches Gua's video has 200 IQ, big brain, this stuff right here is some Evangelion fan theory type shit. But simply put, a vector is anything with the quantities of direction and magnitude. Some examples are force, velocity, momentum, gravity, and way too many more to name. Accelerator has the power to influence and manipulate these vectors as long as he makes contact with them. Accelerator can do simple tasks like redirecting sound so he doesn't hear anything, to doing a little light on messy step on the ground, and zoom the boy out like a jet. Accelerator's ability is both passive and active. Passively, Accelerator creates a barrier around him that filters out vectors he subconsciously deems as harmful and non-essential, so things like bullets are reflected for him even if he isn't consciously aware of them. The barrier even blocks out UV rays and as a result, he doesn't need melanin since his powers act in place of it, which is the reason why he looks like some K-pop e-boy that can actually sing by the way. When it comes to his offense, this man does some pretty wild shit, like shooting himself point blank in the head then redirecting the bullet to his target, lifting and flinging whole ass buildings because he's throwing a tantrum and making the damn spirit bomb out of plasma created from the air and don't even get me started on when this boy grows magical black wings and starts chucking people out of the atmosphere. And all this stuff is just from the anime, I hear he does even crazier things in the light novel. So if you can't tell, Accelerator is pretty goddamn overpowered, even his own series had to nerf his ass, but the only way being is with a bullet to the damn head. But if you've been paying attention, you're probably wondering, how is that even possible? Well, Accelerator's power works using calculations. In order to manipulate vectors, he takes into account their respective variables on top of outside forces like gravity or wind. So as long as he can calculate it, he can manipulate it. But for the most part, that's not a problem because Accelerator is big brain as fuck. The one instance where a bullet was able to harm him is because he was focused on, get this, reworking a person's brain. He didn't have the capacity to fully reflect the bullet, which in turn damaged his calculation, motor, and verbal functions. Basically, Accelerator was left role-playing as a vegetable. Vegetable looking ass? But this is Accelerator we're talking about. If you think for a second that a measly bullet is gonna stop my boy from being OP, you are greatly misinformed. My boy Accelerator came out the hospital with brand new drip, including a high-tech choker that makes him no longer zucchini on the platter and helps him out with his one, two, threes. And I can't forget the walking stick that when he loses, he swaps out for a shotgun that he uses as a crutch. And hey, yo, is that boy gun walking? I'm strapped up, nigga, fuck a gun law. See me walking with a limp, that's my gun walk. Of course, being overpowered is cool and everything, but what ends up selling Accelerator as a whole is his personality. And if you can't tell by his crazy ass laugh, the boy is kind of nutty. A word I've used to describe characters in the past is sadistic, but Accelerator takes that word and runs with it. Whenever Accelerator appears on the screen, you might as well play that one song by Drowning Pool cause bodies are hitting the floor. You would expect someone with crazy powers like him to have his most memorable moments be using them, but nah, Accelerator is actually out here busting the ops. He's also the only time I've seen a guy make the Ahi Gao face, and on top of that, he might just be an activist with the way he's giving these shorties equal rights. But you really get a sense of accelerated sadism when you learn about the experiments he took part in called the Level 6 Shift Project. In a certain magical index, Esper levels go from level 0 to level 5. A science group wanted to create the first level 6 Esper through Accelerator. Achieving this high never before seen level would only be possible using extreme measures. So in order for Accelerator to succeed in this experiment, he had to kill, count with me now, 
one, two, three, four, twenty thousand clones. And you really begin to see him as a sadist when you see some of the messed up ways he decides to kill the clones. You might as well have called the show A Thousand Ways to Die by Accelerator, just because of how creative this man was getting with the kills. One clone, he killed by only using his fingers to reverse her blood flow then make her go pop. Another clone, he snapped their lug off like it was a wishbone then threw that thing to the side like it was nothing. And just when you think that's enough, Accelerator says nah, I'm not done and throws a whole train on the ass and then he casually starts talking to himself about going to the convenience store like he ain't just do some bull. Accelerator was wilding out so much even the characters in the show had to ask him, yo Accelerator why are you bugging like this? And it turns out that being the strongest esper just isn't enough for Accelerator. Accelerator always had the reputation of being the strongest, but his strength was never enough to completely intimidate people into avoiding him. Instead, it was the opposite and people would try to test their strength against his. Accelerator has been pestered by thugs, scientists, and even military forces. He was out here fighting tanks as a kid. It got to the point where he began to wonder, what has being the strongest done for me? He was left with wanting something more than just titles like the strongest. What Accelerator truly wants is absolute power. Power so great that the very thought of going against him would be considered inconceivable. But of course, there's more to Accelerator than just this. So if you guys are interested in me making another Accelerator video, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, then drop a like. If you got a chuckle or just enjoy the video, then share it with a friend. And if you made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed, tell me what the hell are you even doing? But that's all for today. I'm about to age.